in focus this Monday morning is Front Can Corporation, which posted a record quarterly result last week. JF Apex Research downgraded the stock from buy to hold and lowered its target price to three ringgit seventy nine cent versus its last close of three ringgit ninety eight. Here's why. Let's run through its results. In the third quarter of FY twenty one, Front Can booked a net profit of twenty seven point three million ringgit, taking its nine month earnings to seventy four point nine. Nine six million ringgit. GF Apex says this was below expectations, as the nine-month result only accounts for 69% of its full-year forecast and 64% of consensus estimates, due to lower-than-expected earnings contribution from its Singapore segment. As for its prospects, one of Front Ken's customers, TSMC, is investing 100 billion US dollars in the next three years to ramp up production of advanced notes chips. This is to cater to strong demand and augurs well for the group in the near future. Meanwhile, the new facility in Kaohsiung, Taiwan is expected to start operation and production in the second half of next year, up in capacity by about two and a half times. However, the impending minimum wage hike in Taiwan from January 1, 2022 is expected to dent its profit margin. It's challenging in Singapore as well, where Front Ken's subsidiaries are contending with the workforce shortage and delay in customer orders, mainly attributable to COVID-19-linked restrictions. GF Apex cut its net earnings forecasts to 106.9 million ringgit from 116.9 million ringgit in FY21 and 130.3 million ringgit from 145 million ringgit in FY22. This is after revising down the revenue forecast from Front Ken's Singapore segment and cutting its profit margin forecast on its Taiwan subsidiary. While the research house favours Front Ken for its growth prospects, it believes the current price has discounted all the positives. So what's the consensus? According to Bloomberg data, there are five buys and one hold on front cam. Average target price 4 ringgit 11 cent, about 3% higher than the stock's last close of 3 ringgit 98.